the Padres are getting ready now to take on the Dodgers at Petco Park. And we know for a lot of fans, Petco is, of course, the name on the Padres stadium. However, the connection between Petco and America's finest city really runs far deeper than that. Here's more in our hometown spotlight. Petco's been a part of the San Diego community for 55 years. We started in 1965 in La Mesa. We employed over 1,200 people here in San Diego, so we're very proud of our San Diego roots. Petco Foundation's given out over $260 million in grants to rescues around the country. In San Diego, we support many rescue centers, including San Diego Humane, and some of their wonderful pets are here today. So we've been partnered with the Padres since 2004, so it's a part of the Padres fabric, and the Padres are part of the Petco fabric. I personally walked Tatis through our store and helped him pick out stuff for uh, his dogs. It's just a very rich partnership, whether it's the sponsorship, whether it's community outreach, we love being a partner of the Padres. We like to consider ourselves the grocery store, the pharmacy, and the doctor's office for pets. And that's never been more true than during COVID, where we were absolutely an essential retailer for pet parents. People are looking for best friends, they're looking for love that a pet can provide for them. And what's happening is people may not be taking cruises in the Bahamas, but they're taking better care of Fluffy and they're getting Rover groomed more often. That's good for the pets that's good for our business, and I would argue it's good for humanity. Well, we're very fortunate because right now we're joined by Petco CEO Ron Coglin, and we're here to talk about the relationship that the team has with Petco. Ron, thanks so much for the time. We do appreciate it. Hey, Mike, it's great to be here, even though I wish I was down there with you. Uh, we wish you were here as well. We know you'll be watching uh, us on television, the team, of course. Let's talk Absolutely. a little bit about your background and your relationship with the club. I've been the uh, Petco CEO for over two wonderful years. It's been absolutely outstanding. Uh, and being a, a part of the Padres family is one of the proudest things of working for Petco. We really feel like we are part of one family with the Padres team. And we're proud of the longstanding relationship. We were founded in San Diego in 1965. And we were there when the stadium opened along with the pods, and we'll continue to be there. But you've been a partner with them, I believe, like 16 years now. What are the fans benefiting from from this partnership? Yeah, well, we I think we're doing some of our best partnership work uh, this year. The canine promotion is just wonderful. You get one pound of free dog treats from the Padre pitchers. Uh, get over nine strikeouts. And given how the staff is doing this year, that's happened a lot of times. Uh, it's happened about uh, tw 26 times so far. We also heard loud and clear that uh, cat parents uh, wanted in on that action as well. So beginning yesterday, uh, cat, cat parents can get a three ounce bag of hearted cat treats when the pods strike out nine or more batters. So those are just some of the benefits that fans can experience. As it relates to the Petco Foundation, tell us a little bit about that, if you would, and, and how that benefits the community. Oh, the Petco Foundation is one of the things we're most proud of. We estimate that about 40,000 lives are saved every year through the work of the foundation. And uh, we're also working with uh, the 9K program. So every time uh, 9K is happening again, one of the local animal welfare groups is getting $500 from the foundation. And that's added up to over $13,000 to local animal welfare groups this year alone. We also auctioned off, there were some really, really cute Padres player cardboard cutouts with their dogs. Uh, and we auctioned those off, and we raised over $4,000 for uh, the Petco Foundation's important work. Hey, Ron, before we let you go, do you mind if I ask you one fan-related question? Please. would love to know who your favorite players are and what you're looking most forward to the rest of this run and hopefully a long postseason. Well, it's a little bit of a, a sad and a great story. So um, my, first fan, my first favorite um, actually passed away, uh, was it last week, Tom Terrific. I grew up in New York City. But my current favorite is none other than uh, Fernando Tatis, who I showed around one of our stores to outfit uh, his, uh, his puppies uh, last year. And that was a great, great, uh, 
great event for me. And then, you know, in terms of what I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the Dodgers overtaking, or the Padres overtaking the Dodgers for first place and heading to the playoffs. Uh, I think we're, we're all right there, and we're looking forward to another good game tonight. Ron, I can't thank you enough for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. you great got, to be here. Ron Coglin, the CEO of our friends at Petco.